Manholes. They're on every sidewalk in the city, and a few of them are broken. Emma Hamilton knows that all too well. She broke her wrist when she tripped over an open manhole on North Front Street. I fell. I couldn't hold myself up, so my weight, my whole weight, uh, fell on the drop on my wrist. So it had broken piece of the bone on my wrist. It's the city council's job to keep the manholes covered. So she went there for assistance. I went to city council, but they didn't follow up. They didn't come back to me and say anything. So I don't know why they have me like going back and forth. The last thing they told me go by, you know, where it happened and wait for them. And they'll bring a form for me to sign. But I waited and nobody came. Yes, that was I think Thursday. I would just like a, a little compensation for because I have to get a, a bone, um, I have to see a bone specialist for the hand, right? Yes, and right now I can't work, obviously, you know, I'm a widow. They have to close up all the man- manholes, I believe, so that when people are walking, especially elderly people, they don't fall. But the man responsible for closing up all those manholes says it's almost a losing battle. First of all, let me, let me really, really... Um um, give my concern about this this elderly woman who fell in that manhole cover. Throughout our years here at the council, or two and a half years, we have been addressing these manhole covers from time to time. In fact, you can see we we replaced these manhole covers a couple days after. They are broken and they are broken because the drivers don't understand that you do not park, you do not drive on the sidewalk. When you do that, then what happened to this lady happens. And not only this lady, children, school children passing. So we, we understand the importance of these manhole covers. We try our best to cover them. If only we get the assistance or the, or the drivers in, you know, the city, in particular, the, the huge vehicles, they, they try to say, oh, probably the, the manhole covers are not built strong enough for vehicle. They weren't built for vehicle. They have never built for vehicle. They have built for pedestrian. And so when you put this huge vehicle, then that is what happened. And then our citizens suffer. And as for Hamilton's case, the city council's public relations department says it's being handled, but that they're having trouble reaching her. So as far as I am aware, she came in on Friday. She didn't have an official documented complaint. So our customer care people sat with her, listened to her, wrote out an official complaint documentation saying, my name is so-and-so and this is what happened to me. She reviewed it and signed it. Since then, the process was explained to her that she will need to sign a release and waiver of claims rights form and explain compensation. Since then, we have not been able to reach her. We tried yesterday, we tried today. I was there, called her, called her, no response. So any claims that she may have made that she's getting the runner wrong yeah, or that? That is, as far as we know, that is not what has happened since we have met her, no. And then um, if you could get into just, in these situations, what type of compensation would she be entitled to? Um, the first thing we would have to see, doctor pay for her, what, ha- what happened, how much did it cost, and we will try to work with her to make sure that that is covered. Sherry's Halsell, 7 News.